There we go. So, my topic for today is multitasking, you know, because we live in such a busy world, oh my god, that sounds fucking horrible, so my topic for today is multi, uh, multitasking, because, you know, everything in, this wor everything in uh, the modern world is very, very fast paced. Which leaves you very little time to do, you know, absolutely everything you need to do. So, generally people multitask. And, you know, there are many different ways to multitask. But the way most people seem to want to do it is by texting and driving. Because that's such a good good way to multitask. Seriously, if you text and drive, fuck you. <laughs> I've almost been hit by so many people texting and driving. It's absolutely ridiculous. Texting and driving is just completely stupid. And one thing here in Texas, holy shit! <laughs> so many people are texting and driving. I tried to count them once, I really did. I just found that it was a lot faster to count the people who don't text and drive. Almost everybody here is on their phone. And I've almost been hit so many times by people texting and driving. I mean, seriously, guys, just pay attention to what you're doing because you're really not going to see us on the road. And the thing is, you know, people here are so completely self-centered, they, complete, they just absolutely refuse to acknowledge that they did anything wrong when they're merging to your lane and you're there, you know? You can honk at them, give them a quick rev, something. Oh, no, they just look straight ahead and keep on coming. Because, you know, if they admit that they're wrong, I don't know what's going to happen. I think they might just spontaneously combust. They just absolutely cannot admit fault in anything that they do. But it's all right, you know, I don't blame them. They're pretty busy people who obviously have a lot to do, have a lot of stuff to get done, so they have to text and drive. Uh, you know, I really hate people who actually say they're good at texting and driving. No, you're not. You're still a fucking retard. Hello. You're still a fucking retard if you text and drive, seriously. Too many things can happen in that split second that you're looking down at your phone. The hell? <laughs> One thing I've noticed about these lights that nobody else really seems to is that they always go clockwise. Like the lights at the feeders. <laughs> I've actually pulled out my phone a couple times, I even snapped a selfie. Well, the second one of these lights, people just look at me like, what the fuck is this guy doing? It's red. What if it turns green and he has to go? Is he just going to drop his phone? Nope, lights move clockwise. I have plenty of time. Oh, 
Oh man, it's getting hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hot, 86 degrees. Just open up the vent to my helmet. Oh. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I actually haven't seen that many people texting and driving now, so that's pretty good. I guess everybody of importance is at either at work or at school since it's like almost 12 right now. 12 on a Monday. No, they're probably at work hating themselves. Oh well. Oh man, I should have worn my other jacket. This one is not perforated enough. But I mean it was almost it was like in the 50s this morning. So I decided, yeah, I'll just get my non-perforated one. Small sacrifice, be comfortable on the way to school. Vroom, vroom, motherfuckers! So, some more. Mon dieu. Well, there's a lot of traffic at 12 o'clock on a Monday. Sometimes the temptation to lane split is just right in front of you. The lane splitting here is really not recommended at all. Ooh, that's pretty. Yellow flowers, power lines. Pretty sure some artist could give like a very, or like some art teacher, could give like some very in-depth explanation on why that happens. Like the yellow of the flowers represents the, oh fuck, I don't know, disgust within your life. And the power cable towers represents your struggle within, I don't know. Oh my god, keep breaking, dude! Oh man, minivans. Minivans. Fuck, I forgot what I was talking about. Wow, I really did forget what I was talking about. Oh, right, lane splitting, that's what it was. Yeah, Texas lane splitting, no, no. I did it once. Two months after getting my bike, I was stuck in traffic downtown on the highway. And by stuck, I mean fucking stuck. It was like dead still, nobody moving. 90 degrees, oh my god, it was horrible. And like my bike was overheating, I was sweating like crazy. Just wanted to get through it all. So I decided, uh, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna split through a couple of cars. Uh, and get to a point where traffic's moving enough where I don't have to split. Oh my god, first or second car already, you know, first or second car that I passed already started honking at me. I decided, all right, well, that's just one car, why not? Let's just keep going. Big mistake, man. I stopped splitting. I, I stopped splitting after like the second or third car decided that they're gonna try to hit me. Like, like, they legitimately pulled out to, like, cover two lanes to try to keep me from passing. I mean, okay, I get it. You hate me for going past, uh, you hate me for driving past you while you're stuck in traffic. But does that really give you a pass to be, like, a freaking vigilante and administer your own vigilante justice? in a move that could really kill me, or at least send me to the hospital. I mean, seriously, how much of a self-righteous jerk do you have to be? I mean, I get it, okay, I was breaking the law, call the cops, report me, whatever. But don't try to put me in the hospital, because... You know, seriously, that just makes you a very, very shitty human being. Do, 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 do.
Our family cares about your family. Huh, well then I should invite you guys over for dinner.